Hello ladies and gents, welcome. Today I'm going to turn another makeover I've told you on the last video. If you guys watched the last one, you you know, I, I said I've got a bigger uh, blank. Well, here it is. It seems to be a little bit darker and it is bigger, seven, uh, three inch by seven inch. But this time I've got a design in mind which I've never done before. The foot of it, you'll see what I'm going to do, but um, I'm going to design a foot I've never done. And I'm thinking I'll use uh, this African black foot for the lid and the finial as well. We'll see how it goes I might not use all of it it might look too big so just like this one I've chopped this one because I didn't want my tenon to be too small and this bigger chunk to be spinning for what I'm going to do here it'll definitely come off the lathe if the grip here isn't too big so that's why I cut it and it didn't need to be any longer for the foot so yeah I've drilled a hole in the center for my warm screw we're going to shape the outside first and then um, shape it get it through shape it and then move on to the inside and then we'll do the foot
I like I like these parts how they get spread out like that I'm gonna think about the top because that's the more difficult part to get it right like I think this curve um, looks good and matches the grain pattern because that's what you gotta look for as well you see these lines you know they're better if they're not like interrupted in, in a way how can I put it like if you have a bead here where these lines are you just completely ruin that grain pattern going down whereas if you have nice uh, nice round shape to it it keeps that sh that grain going and you're not disturbing it I don't know if that makes sense some some of you may see it some of you may not depending how you like you know everyone is different but this is what I see I don't see point changing the grain pattern too much okay guys I've sanded this and I'm gonna apply Yorkshire grit by the way I've decided um, I won't have lid and I'm going to turn this into like a pedestal bowl but we'll we'll still do that uh, design I told you about so you still get to see that it's just design wise it wouldn't capture it would firstly waste a lot of wood trying to shape the top to make it um, usable like uh, look good So smooth.
<laughs> I don't know what you guys think, but it's. I love this part. Okay guys, just finished. I turned this um, foot, but I, to be honest with you, I don't like it. It doesn't go well with this size ball. I guess if the ball was like um, maybe 12 inches diameter, something like that, this would definitely be okay for it but for a small ball like this seven inches diameter as you can see it doesn't go well so off camera I turn this one it's a malted beach actually this was given to me by a good friend uh, of mine called Alan Simpson he watches the videos um, since early days of of me starting uh, this channel so thank you Alan this is uh, some of the uh, that malted beach and I love it it goes well with this um, maple burr I'll, I'll have some pictures at the end so I'll use epoxy glue two part epoxy glue here and that's why I'll, uh, I have this um, edge here so if, if you can see it sits nicely and it hides uh, that tenon so I guess something like this design maybe if it was natural edge lock and then hollowed would have might, might have looked better but uh, I love trying different things and this was a good experience for me I hope you guys liked it I hope this gives you some ideas where you could design your own and maybe you make it work <laughs> maybe maybe I went too too deep shallow where uh, would have been might have been better and then make this a bit smaller would have worked I think anyway we we learn by practice so this is a practice of this design I might off camera do something similar and try different uh, 
sizes to see which one works the best. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all on the next video.